You said you're an originalist, is that true? What does that mean in English? So in English, that means that I interpret the Constitution as a law, that I interpret its text as text, and I understand it to have the meaning that it had at the time people ratified it. Okay. So that meaning doesn't change over time, and it's not up to me to update it or infuse my own policy views into it. Justice Scalia, he was an originalist, right? Yes, he was. People say that you're a female Scalia. What would you say? I would say that Justice Scalia was obviously a mentor. And as I said um, in the, when I accepted the president's nomination, that his philosophy is mine too. But I want to be careful to say that if I'm confirmed, you would not be getting Justice Scalia. You would be getting Justice Barrett. In Planned Parenthood of Southeastern Pennsylvania versus Casey, Justice Scalia, as was said uh, earlier, joined the dissent which took the position, and I quote, we believe that Roe was wrongly decided and that it can and should be overruled, consistent with our traditional approach to stare decisis in constitutional cases. Do you agree with Justice Scalia's view that Roe was wrongly decided? So Senator, I do want to be forthright and answer every question so far as I can. I think on that question, I, you know, I'm going to invoke Justice Kagan's description, which I think is um, perfectly put. When she was in her confirmation hearing, she said that she was not going to grade precedent or give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I think in an area where precedent continues to be pressed and litigated, as is true of Casey, it would be particularly, um, it would actually be wrong and a violation of the canons for me to do that as a sitting judge. Um, so if, if I express a view on a precedent one way or another, whether I say I love it or I hate it, it signals to litigants that I might tilt one way or another in a pending case. So on something that is really a major cause with major effect on over half of the population of this country who are women, after all, it's, it's distressing not to get a straight answer. Uh, the Democrats claim that you're being put on the Supreme Court so you can vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Is that your agenda? If confirmed, is your goal repealing the Affordable Care Act? Have you committed to the President or anyone else that you will vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act if confirmed by, uh, to the court? Absolutely not. I was never asked, and if I had been, that would have been a short conversation. Have you seen the George Floyd video? I have. What impact did it have on you? Um, Senator, as you might imagine, given that I have two black children, that was very, very personal for my family. And my 17-year-old daughter, Vivian, who's adopted from Haiti, um, all of this was erupting. It was very difficult for her. Um, we wept together in my room. And then it was also difficult for my daughter, Juliet, who's 10. I had to try to explain some of this to them. I mean, my children to this point in their lives have had the benefit of growing up in a cocoon where they have not yet experienced hatred or violence. Um, and for Vivian, you know, to understand that there would be a risk to her brother or the son she might have one day of that kind of brutality has been an ongoing conversation. It's a difficult one for us, like it is for Americans all over the country. I'd like to ask you, as an originalist who obviously has a passion for history, I can't imagine that you could separate the two, to reflect on the history of this country. Where are we today when it comes to the issue of race? So I think it is an entirely uncontroversial and obvious statement given, as we just talked about the George Floyd video, that racism persists in our country as to putting my finger on the nature of the problem, you know, whether, as you say, it's just outright or systemic racism, or how to tackle the, prop, the issue of making it better, those things you know, are policy questions. They're hotly contested policy contest, uh, questions that have been in the news and discussed all summer. So while, you know, as I did share my personal experience, I'm very you know, happy to discuss the, the reaction our family had to the George Floyd video, giving broader statements or making, you know, 
broader diagnoses about the problem of racism is kind of beyond what I'm capable of doing as a judge. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.